Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general energy reading for the sign of Taurus for July 2021. Okay? This can resonate with your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. Okay? I'm currently shuffling with the Radiant Ride Away Tarot deck today. We'll um, soon cut the cards and get straight into the reading. So just so you know, these readings are timeless, even though they're going to be posted as July. So whenever this reading comes across to you, it's most likely your message. If it resonates, then that's great. If it doesn't, it's simply not your message, but there may be parts of it that do resonate. Okay. So I do things a little bit differently here. And um, I will be laying out the cards on the table, going through the cards. If you wish to fast forward the reading or leave a timestamp to when I'm actually um, starting the reading, then please feel free to do that. But I'll just be going through the signs as I put out the cards on the table, okay? So, we have the hangman here in reverse, bottom of the, of the reading so far. So this is Pisces energy. Okay, we have the four of wands in reverse. Ace of Wands. Okay, lovely. Page of Cups. We have the Hermit Energy, which is Virgo. We have three, uh, three of Pentacles here, Earth Energy. We have the King of Wands. Lovely. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. We have the Two of Wands in reverse. We have the Hierophant, so we have your energy here, Taurus. So this is beautiful, this is very powerful, you're in the read. We have Judgment, which is in reverse, which is Sagittarian energy. We have the Six of Wands, Fire energy. Seven of Wands, Fire energy. Three of Swords. We have the High Priestess, which is Cancerian energy. And last but not least, we have... The Empress, wow, beautiful. This is also Taurus energy, Libra energy. This is absolutely stunning. Okay, so those are the signs of the majors that we have um, in, uh, in your chart or your person's chart or however best, best resonates for you, but all signs are here. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is so stunning. This is earth energy. So you're feeling very, um, you're going to eventually be feeling very grounded, very stable, very secure in the month of July. Things are just going to be, you know, working out for you. I'm really getting the sense that this stability is incredibly important for you in your life in order for you to kind of nurture yourself, to move on forward. Yeah, potentially there may have been confusion on how to move forward in particular it, like in relation to your life but you'll be very much gaining this restored sense of clarity on how to regain this stability this groundedness and by nurturing yourself you know getting very practical about how it is that you want to be able to move forward in your life and with doing that it's going to allow you to have a lot more equal balance and harmony in relation to your um, material world quite potentially and even in your emotions and this gain in clarity this breakthrough is going to be really beautiful you'll have this victory in, in relation to this okay there may have been um in re relation to love there could have been you know a lack of movement forward or potentially lots of disappointment in relation to love but I'm really getting the sense that that will be coming to the coming to an end. And then we have the King of Cups. So somebody may have held back their love previously. Maybe there were some sort of um, expectations to do with love. But there needs to be a, a conversation if this is the case. An open, honest conversation. And then break up the deck. Yeah, potentially you may be emotionally leaving um, something that had made you feel unfulfilled in some way which is quite potential 
quite potentially the case if it comes to love but this is a general read so I will be doing love readings specifically to the signs um, later on after after these are posted okay so I'm really feeling the sense here that um, there may have been a period of time where you have felt really quite stuck you know um, quite stuck unsure about how to move on forward Potentially you've been trying to figure out how do I make the best plans on moving forward in my life, but potentially feeling fearful of change. Potentially there could have even been if you were trying to gain, you know, um, a new job, quite potentially there had been difficulties or a delay in relation to gaining that particular job or maybe a business not kind of um, jumping off to the mark as the way that you wanted to do, wanted it to. Potentially there could have been some sort of um, imbalance or unhappiness in relation to the home situation I'm feeling here with this four of wands in reverse energy. Potentially you may have not felt supported in the way that you wanted to feel supported and potentially like you've had to go through um, a, major pro a, pro a major process where you're able to kind of regain your balance and security in yourself again, which you will do with this beautiful Empress energy. I'm really feeling the sense that you will be able to start this brand new venture, you know, potentially when it comes to um, a career aspect in relation to wanting to start new projects. You're just going to be feeling a lot more inspired and putting yourself out there, potentially opening up your heart again to express these particular emotions that you may feel in relation to um, to this new venture that you would like to go forward towards. I'm really getting the sense that any mystery there was potentially to do with this new venture that you wanted to start uh, wanted to start or a new job or um, something relating to the home is being revealed. This kind of, you know, um, it, this kind of relative, this secret has, is, is coming to light. Potentially you may have repressed your feelings in relation to wanting to start something brand new. Potentially maybe feeling that, oh, okay, well, maybe I, I won't get the acceptance that I'm trying to receive if I put myself out there potentially and get my heart broken. And this in turn may have potentially cause you to feel like, well, I need to stand up for myself. I need to maintain control of my life. And you will do, absolutely. But potentially you've been holding yourself back in something which has been relatively difficult to, to handle, having to go through this emotional process of, well, I want to be stable and I want to be grounded, but I'm going to have to overcome certain hurdles in my life and particular hardships to get to the place where I want to get to. And you're gonna, you may come across to a lot of people like relatively guarded because you've been heartbroken in some way to do with either a venture or a home situation or a work situation. Um, you've really wanted to have the passion to move on forward in relation to that, but potentially there may have been uh, particular issues, um, practical issues in relation to planning how to move forward there's that's why these particular delays may have come in potentially it could have been um i'm really getting the sense of if it was a business that you wanted to work from home or start a business within the home but there's some sort of kinks that need to be worked out so that things can move on slowly you know i really feel very much that you're kind of willing to put the work in to move forward in this brand new venture um, and you will eventually receive the help that it is that you are looking for to build a new foundation um, potentially you may be receiving some sort of messages on how to move forward in this new venture and it's going to allow you to have the confidence to be able to pursue what it is that you want to. There may be delays right now, but you will get to where you want to. I'm really feeling that this kind of receiving these particular like intuitive messages, you're having to go within and kind of really... Um, contemplate and search for your kind of truth in relation to what it is that you want to do on how to move forward I'm really getting that quite strongly potentially you could be wanting to start um, you know um, a new kind of a new course in something I'm really getting like a, a like go back to school or you're wanting to be 
educated in a new field in some way, but there could have been delays, which could have led to a lot of frustrations. And then things not necessarily kind of working out the way that you would like them to work out. But you're kind of getting more, um, you're very much step stepping more into your power though, because we have, you know, two Taurus energies here. You know, you will gain that stability. You will get the abundance that you want and the growth. And you will be able to nurture your emotions to get the fulfillment that it is that you want. But potentially there's been some sort of delays in foundation to do with the homework or um, family situation. I'm getting quite potentially. You will overcome any hardships though. I'm really getting that quite strongly. You will be victorious. So there may have been a period of time where you may have felt like relatively confused um, or unsure on how to move forward. Potentially feeling like you know, I've kept these particular feelings of what it is that I want to do for myself, to myself for such a long time. And, you know, potentially it's got to a point where you're now realising that you have to kind of go within to gain the messages that you need to be able to move forward. But there probably was a period of time where you just didn't feel, you know, um, like you couldn't find your inner voice. Like, the insight that you wanted to receive hadn't necessarily come clear to you and this in turn had led to some sort of lack of awareness of how do I get to this new venture, how do I start something. It could be to do with a particular belief about um, how it is that you want to move forward in relation to um, your material world, I'm getting. Okay. But you will come out on top though. You may have felt a little bit like you know, how do I, you know, things are not necessarily working out for me. Why are they not working out for me? And this in turn may have felt like, you know, feeling particularly like a lack of confidence. But I'm really getting the sense like you will be getting the insight and the movement forward that you wish. But it's going to take time for you to kind of go within and really establish what it is that you that you want in your life and having that clarity on how to move forward okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull um, some clarifiers for these majors just to get some extra clarification and then we'll um, close off the reading as I said if this uh, resonates then that's great if it doesn't or any parts of it then that's uh, fair enough as well okay but we have all signs here so we have a uh, Taurus, obviously you, um, we have um, Virgo Capricorn, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for air, Aries, Leo, Sag for fire, and we have Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces on the table. Okay, so what can you tell us about this hangman in reverse for Taurus please, hangman in reverse? Yeah, okay, so we have... Yeah, you've been emotionally let down. The reason you potentially may have felt like, um, you know, a victim, I know that's going to sound, potentially may have felt like a victim in the past is because you've had so much drama to deal with and people have really let you down in one way or another, which in turn has been incredibly upsetting for you and potentially have blocked your kind of intuition on how to move forward. Potentially stuck in, stuck in a rut lots of setbacks to do with this situation yeah and but you're just trying to rebalance your life again which you will do but i feel like having to let go of a particular um, legal contract i'm getting or particular people in your life break up the deck because you will have the foundation and stability that it is that you want you know, to do with a family home situation. I feel like this is something that's incredibly important for you to feel stable, to feel grounded, like you will be stepping into your energy. But there have been a few other things that have been in the midst of preventing that potentially from happening. So um, what can we get for the Hierophant up here for the Taurus? Um, actually, you know, sorry, just skip right over the Hermit. So I want to know what the Hermit is here for, please. The Hermit for Taurus, please. Why is the Hermit here? this need to go within and to kind of figure out what it is that you want in your life potentially you may be going through some sort of um, spiritual kind of 
awakening even some sort of illumination to how you're ascending in something there's been so much confusion and now something's coming to light yeah okay so we have the knight of swords in reverse and then bottom of the deck we have the moon in reverse wow okay so you going within potentially this has been the dark night of the soul um with the moon energy really getting that um but because it's um coming out reversed i'm getting the sense that you are gaining this truth and clarity on how to move on forward potentially you're receiving messages in your dreams about you know how do i move for do do i move forward potentially you may be feeling a little bit impatient on how to move on forward with this kind of knight of swords energy you know um feeling like you haven't got any direction but it's asking you to to go within to in order for you to receive these particular messages to go within so you can move forward in confidence you may have felt for a long time that there was no hope in relation to moving forward but there will be there's been a lot of discouragement a lack of faith that things are not working out for you but you need to emotionally leave that kind of mindset behind for in order for you to move forward because you will have a brand new beginning okay you will have the new beginning that you're looking for I'm going to take another card for this um, this hermit, please. What's this? Another card for this hermit. Ooh. Oh, okay. Wow. So those definitely wanted to come out. What have we got here? Okay, wow. So we have the Three of Cups in reverse and we have the Knight of... Um, God, I keep on wanting to say the Knight of Swords. We've got the Knight of Swords. So potentially you could be dealing with an individual or a karmic energy, quite potentially an air sign or an earth sign. Not an earth sign. A water sign. Could be another earth sign. That um, there may have been a lack of growth in something, maybe potentially a third party situation that you've been very confused about potentially where people's motives are potentially there may have been a lot of gossip or manipulation to do with the situation that has been incredibly difficult yet yeah. this um this situation with the tower in reverse like this something is coming to 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 light but you will be gaining security in relation to moving forward eventually after this difficulty that you've had. Look at that beautiful with the world energy. You will be successful. You know, you may feel stuck right now, but it's just having that sense that you will complete a particular cycle in your life relatively soon. Okay. But with this three of cups energy, with the king of swords reverse, it's like... There may have been people in the midst have not necessarily been very truthful trying to control a particular situation in your life. Maybe dealing um, with lots of kind of cynical people who are very gossipy about how it is that you move forward in your life. And, you know, feeling like you're having to keep yourself isolated with this kind of hermit energy. But you can progress out of this. You will overcome the hardship when you gain the courage and the confidence to move forward. Why is the Hierophant here, please, for Taurus? Well, that looked like it wanted to come out, but it didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. See. You've been very much in your head about how to move forward. Very much in your head, feeling relatively trapped, having this confusion. Like, in a sense, this is like someone who's in this kind of self-imposed prison on about particular beliefs that they may have in order to move forward in the confidence that they need to you know to be able to explore particular ideas and have that freedom again like this is somebody feeling trapped and then this is somebody who's relatively free so it's having that balance between between the both yeah feeling quite emotionally unsatisfied and I'm not I'm not surprised here here but because obviously we have this kind of trapped energy. So there's been some sort of set belief or expectation on you or by other people which has led to a lot of confusion for you to move on forward. Yeah, which been you could have potentially been in a toxic cycle or there may have been negative thought patterns that have might have contributed to getting in the way for you to start a brand new cycle and be successful. Um but that that will all change and come out of that. Okay, so what's the um, judgment here in uh, reverse for Taurus, please? Why is judgment here in reverse? 
Okay, yes, you're going to gain this clarity. You're going to get this clear-mindedness. I'm really getting a sense that there's been so much that's been going on that has potentially left you to a point where you may have not felt so stable, but now you will be feeling stable. Yeah, look at this, beautiful. We have the Emperor energy, Empress energy. So um, you're just so ready to take charge of your life and you you will do, you will gain this clarity. You will be able to move on forward with this Queen of Swords. You know, you will be self-sufficient. You will be able to kind of get forward to where you need to. I'm going to take one more for the judgment in reverse. Oh, yeah. Judgment in reverse. Anything else for judgment in reverse? If not, yes. You will receive equal give and take. You will receive balance, harmony in your material world after a difficult time. You know, there has been, you know, lack of growth in moving on on something. But with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, you know, you felt very much like, oh my gosh, like, I've done all this work and I feel so unstable, but I'm not getting anything out of it. Yeah, it could have been to do with the home situation. But you're moving forward out of that. You know, you will, you will get people who are going to be able to help you. You will, you will be able to have people that are going to have they're going to be able to help you. Why is the high priestess here in reverse, please? Yeah, you will be able to move on forward and with confidence when something is relative is revealed. Yeah, but you're feeling exhausted right now, feeling really burnt out. I'm not sure on how to move on forward. And it's like, look, you need to kind of regather your mental strength again. You need to recover. You need to take time. You will come out of, you need to go into isolation to get these kind of messages to then eventually get to a point where you will be able to get out of um, isolation. Yeah, you will be able to move on from that, which you will do. You know, with this um, Six of Swords in reverse, it's like, you know, there has been emotional baggage in the past, but you will be able to move on from that when you heal yourself. And then there's going to be information that's going to be revealed to you that is going to allow you to move on forward eventually. Okay, so I just want to know why the Empress is here. I just saw the devil and the eight of cups upright so it's you stepping into your power which is allowing you to leave toxicity in the past which is really quite beautiful either that being you know a family home work situation um, particular thought patterns that you may have had it's um, allowing you to kind of step into your power and to em embrace this beautiful empress energy so why is the empress here please the empress for taurus for july oh just saw temperance so just saw sagittarian energy you're going to bring balance to yourself and you're getting guidance on able to do that yep and wow and it's allowing you to step into this beautiful pre-empress energy as well you know she was the first card that came out at the bottom of the deck you know yes it's a she but Obviously, it's it's energy, so it's either, you know, um, it's either gender. It doesn't it doesn't matter. And then blessings are coming your way, and you're dropping the burdens. You're being you're being guided. You're going to receive these particular messages about what's happening on around you. It's allowing you to gain the clarity after a period of time of confusion. You know, dropping any burdens dropping any upset, miracles coming in for you, feeling so much more happier and just excited about moving forward in your life and justice is coming in for you and it's going to be really quite beautiful. I'm going to take it one more, one more card for the Empress, please. Wow. Oh, gosh. Yeah. And it's interesting. Look, because this is where you were in an unstable place feeling lack 
not sure about how to move on forward out in the cold, worrying about finances, worrying about work, worrying about, you know, particular insecurities that you may have had in relation to, you know, anything to do with your material home life. But the sun is coming out and you will have the optim optimism with having this divinely guided balance, um, balance, but also um, help um, in relation to moving forward for you. So yes, there's been a position or place, a feeling of lack, but you will have that all balanced out and optimism coming in for you. And then we have the miracles card basically with the star energy, your blessings coming in, rejuvenation, having faith in your life and having this beautiful healing and moving forward in your purpose and having wish fulfillment to gain the stability back in your life and letting go of said burdens that you have been carrying on of you know responsibilities in your life you're getting a break you're going to finally kind of light up and feel excited to be free after feeling trapped for quite some time you're going to be free to move on forward and it's going to be really beautiful Oh, wow. Um, well, I really hope that you enjoyed the reading, Taurus. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye for now.